When Zambia gained independence 61 years ago, the nation's founding president, Dr. Kenneth Kaunda, ignited a spirit of self-belief, urging the youth to be creators, innovators, and builders of their own future. That philosophy of self-reliance and innovation, first instilled in the early years of independence, continues to shape a new generation, one that's redefining how business and technology drive national development. In the 21st century, business has taken a twist, moving from traditional methods to modern tech-driven solutions. Today's entrepreneurs navigate a fast-changing landscape, from the days of face-to-face -face banking to the rise of mobile and internet-based transactions. Zambians have had to adapt swiftly to this digital era. But how are they faring in this evolving environment? What new opportunities lie ahead, and how are they harnessing innovation for progress? It's a key component in solving our daily challenges. Uh, the digitization uh, transition from uh, analog to digital has made fintech possible, has made social media possible, has made different other technologies, uh, the AI, and different other innovations that have come about that have made our lives easier and convenient. So it's technology is part of our existence. The young people of Zambia are at the center of innovation promotion. Experts are commending the rising innovation culture, urging more support and stronger links between young innovators and industry players. We should uh, really, we, we should just find a way and mechanism of linking innovators uh, with people in industry and uh, people that need those kind of innovations. Young innovators remain optimistic, seeing their breakthroughs not just as personal wins, but as Zambia's chance to take its place at the global innovation table. There's great hope in the science and technology sector in Zambia. Actually, the market has so much potential. Uh, there are emerging technologies. It can bring about economic value. We can create jobs. There's so much potential to collaborate beyond Zambia with other regions. Government bodies under the Ministry of Technology and Science are closely monitoring the growth of the tech ecosystem, identifying and nurturing standout innovators. In terms of viability, they are very viable. Probably what we are lacking, where we have a gap, in term, is in terms of funding. We have quite a number of innovations that are coming in terms of uh, platforms that are being created by young people, in terms of uh, industry uh, uh, technologies that are actually applied to the mining sector, uh, also in manufacturing, and as well as in tourism. The creation of innovation hubs across the country is now offering hope and unlocking funding prospects to scale up youth-led innovations into viable enterprises. For us to be able to actually move and catch up with these economies that are actually uh, really getting the benefit out of these technologies is to support locally developed and adapted uh, technologies. Because the challenge that we are having is we are importing technologies uh, into the country uh, which actually are, are developed for the other environments without actually taking care of our real problems that we are facing as, a, as a, a nation. As Zambia marks 61 years of independence, its young innovators draw inspiration from the same pioneering spirit that Dr. Kenneth Kaunda preached, self-reliance, creativity, and service to the nation.